Hey guys, Zero here, and here I am with a tutorial for Robin or Reflet for Smash Bros. for 3DS or Smash 4 as, as you want to call it. Now, I've been, I've been playing this game quite a bit late, lately and with all my marathons. And I want to share with you guys some insight into Robin. So first of all, Robin has some pretty interesting costume options. You can play as male Robin or female Robin. Here you can see male and female iterations of Robin in different colors. They're all pretty, they're all very nice. Very well done. I personally like uh, male blue Robin the most. So I'm going to pick that one for myself. Now let's head over to Final Destination to showcase some of Robin's uh, stuff. Now, the first thing that calls my attention about Robin is the fact that in the trailer they showcase him having this magic property, so his sword and projectiles, right? So, in this game, whenever you use Robin's arrows or smash attacks or, or, even, project, or even magic attacks, uh, he starts draining energy from his book. As you can see, right now I'm... Right now, I actually uh, wasted all my energy from my sword, and then he throws the sword. Same happens if you waste your magic, throws away the book. You can see, boom, the book goes away, and then you can grab it. So overall, Robin is a character that has extremely powerful moves whenever you have your magic available for either your book or your sword. Sword magic attacks are extremely powerful and they have more hit stun and knockback and range compared to Robin's normal attacks. The bottom bottom uh, bottom of this is that you don't want to space around with Robin's sword attacks because if you miss them, you will be you will be in some type of way punished because you won't have the sword properties when you need it later on for KOs. So you and overall I wouldn't say you don't have to, but you have to be very careful when you use your sword because because if you don't use it properly, you'll get punished for it. Because if I waste my magic around, that means then I don't have magic later on. So that puts me in trouble. For those of you that are not aware, the the recharge time on magic is between 8 to 20 seconds. I'm not sure the exact time frame. I think for the sword is more than 8 seconds. But for magic, it's like around 8 to 10 seconds. But the time frame is like 8 to 20 seconds. I haven't really tested it completely. So I invite you to do that yourself. But... From 8 to 20 seconds is the normal time that will require for you to charge your stuff again. So it may not sound that bad, but a match can change in 5 seconds. So be wary of that. Now, Robin has not that much of a range. As you can see, his sword is not as big as, you know, Lucina's or Mars or, or Shulk's. But he does have some range and he does have priorities so I think we do use it. His down tilt is okay for getting people off of you, you know they're up right next to you and he's like pshum, pshum, pshum. His four tilt is pretty good as well. It's the same effect, it throws people off. His up tilt is good for combos at low percents. Look at this. You can up smash then or you can do up kill. Uh, you can see magic attacks are powerful. Now, some people are asking me, what should you focus on more? Should you focus more on magic attacks or sword attacks? I personally find sword attacks to be the most rewarding, especially if four backer and upper are all so strong and so powerful for Robin that you can do things like See? As you can see, that's a lot of damage. That's a combo, by the way. I'm a Robin's bread on Bob the combo. Also, because I just recovered, I want to talk about his recovery briefly. If you hit with the tipper of one of these blades, it'll spike. So you can spike people with it, man. So definitely do use it for when you feel threatened. Go off the stage, man. I'm sorry. Well, when you want to threaten someone, you can go off the stage and spike them with your LP. I've been spiked by Nairo a couple times, man. It's a uh, scary, man. It's a scary position. Now, let me, let me just reset this. Okay. 
Now, Robin's Robin's main spacing tool. I want to I want to really stress this out. Main spacing tool is his uh, L fire side B, which is this. Now, this move connects. If it connects into a shield or a character, it would explode in that spot, and then you can either combo people from it. You can either trap them into a grab, etc. But even if it connects into a shield, it will still explode and create pressure. That means that people can't grab you. You can you can put yourself in very good spots if you connect your L fire. So L fire is good, for example, for running away from your opponent, and then you throw it forth. You can corner people while jumping while using it, or you can edge guard people to create, you know, good positions for yourself. Side B definitely allows for a lot of creativity with Robin, and you should definitely emphasize good side B use if you want to be efficient with Robin on the fields. Now, his neutral B is very interesting. Um. The more you charge it, the more powerful it is. Now, when it's orange, if it goes forth with this powerful and multi-hit projectile, when it gets orange, like this. So, I will recommend the orange version of this projectile for when you want to pressure people, shields, or you want to get them off the stage. Because, look at this. And you can also combo them from there, so like, you can do orange one. Check this out. That was a devastating combo, man. So you should de definitely check that out. Um, his final charge of it, it's, uh, it's similar to Zelda's or Sheik's final smash, where they where they used to sh you know shoot this arrow force that would just like pew instant. Canada is this like check this out. Um, it's very powerful and very good for KOs, though it's not as good for damage. And it uses your magic quite a bit. Like it, it can deplete your magic in like two hits or something. So definitely, don't definitely be careful and don't throw it around. Um, it's very good for chaos. Like if you, for example, let's say, let's say I get Captain Falcon to like, I don't know, a hundred percent. You know. Now he has to land on the stage, right? And then you can throw it there, and then you can KO people with it. It's very good for just. Difficult situations, you know, and your neutral B is also very good for edge guard and you can throw people away and then combine your spells to make it hard for them to recover combined with a up B spike, neutral B uh, covering and a fire as well. Another important thing that people were mentioning is uh, down B. Now your down B heals you. It uses a lot of magic, but it does heal you quite a bit, man. It can heal you 10%, 15% or even more. So, you know what down B is good for? If you think someone's going to roll behind you, you can just turn around and, you know, take them off. This repletes your magic quite fast, so careful of missing it. But if you do get it, it's uh, it's very good. If you use L fire up the stage, you don't fall into free fall. Same with neutral B. However, if you use down B, if you actually use down B up the stage, let me see if I can get my magic real quick. I have to wait a little bit for my that book. Alright man, if you wait around a little bit, you'll see the book coming back to Robin, so it's not going to be a surprise to you. Let me see. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, we can just reset, I guess. Alright, so, takes a couple seconds for him to get Alright, he got it. So, I jump off the stage, down B. And then, it does not send you to free fall as well, so you can jump and take people off by surprise with this. I definitely do have it in mind. Nosferatu is a very strong uh, down B is called Nosferatu, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's very powerful for everything, really. It's a heal move. Like I have never really seen a heal move in Smash Brothers, and it's just very interesting that you know you finally have access to one of them. So overall, Robin's main spacing tools are L fire. His RL games are very strong and connecting to each other from his projectiles. Effective Robin gameplay relies on using his projectiles and his sword gameplay correctly. In uh, in exchange periods to correctly maximize his damage and everything. Zero, Nosferatu takes 40 seconds to recharge. That's actually very good advice. I didn't know that, but it takes 40 seconds and that's a while. So you should be definitely be careful of you know throwing Nosferatu around. You definitely get a big punishment out of it. 
for your magic. So definitely be careful doing that, man. Careful, careful. So now we're gonna go into an online mode match, full, full glory mode one on one. Try uh, rubbing out. So let's do this real quick. I'm gonna do one match. I'm gonna try to showcase the things that I just talked about. We'll commentate in a little bit. I'll focus more on the gameplay side of the thing, so we'll see how this goes. Up throw to up I up throw to arrows is definitely a thing, by the way. You can definitely do center and throws into center and arrows. Up throw included. Now Kirby Kirby can be very annoying for Robin because Kirby will jump around outside of side B range. So you have to like aim your side B to where Kirby's gonna land. Use it efficiently. As you can see, side B placement is the most important thing. Now we got our magic sword. Now we can deal some damage. Oh, oh we don't have magic now. This is the this is the hard spot for Robin. When he doesn't have magic, he's very vulnerable. So you should definitely either attack him. When he doesn't have magic, that's it, that's, it, that's when he's weakest, his weakest part. Or if you're Robin, you need to be careful when you don't have magic because you're not as strong as when you are when you do have it. Right? His dash attack is pretty good for mix up like you saw there. You can cross people up with it. Well, nothing's happening here, so I'm just gonna charge my dude. I'm not trouble. We got a fully charged one. Ooh, he got me with the neutral B. <laughs> hey, Kirby. Oh, I missed it. That's unfortunate. You have to be careful using it. I think using it when people are landing is the most useful. His dark throw is also kill, kill throw, by the way. Like, if you dark throw people, you can just do some serious damage with them. I guess it's camping glitch. I did some pretty good damage. As you can see, neutral B can cover you very hard, so definitely do keep it in mind. Also, your neutral B, your your L fire is also kill move, by the way. Now hold it down here for Bectorin. Yeah. Have to be very careful here. Nice, uh, properly shielded. Ooh, I think he got me with that one. He did get me. Down smash can be very good for reading spot dodges. If someone spot dodges. And then you down smash, you can get them easily. Nice. As you can see, magic arrows can be very powerful. You can finish people off quite early with them, as you just saw. He got me just before then. <laughs> down throw. The down there also spikes if I'm not mistaken. Nice. I don't get in with them. Ooh, I try to roll so I got hit by the 
the very last hit. That hammer can be scary, man. Let me tell you. Oh no, I didn't have my magic. So as you can see, when Robin doesn't have magic, it's quite weaker. So you have to be very careful when you use your moves. Because if you miss them, you get punished. We're gonna have a timer? Mm, I had no idea. I had no idea why it took so long to complete this move. Oh, well, I guess I'll fire has my back. <laughs> I'll fire I have my back. Well, man, hopefully you guys enjoy my uh, my Robin or Red Flip tutorial. Robin definitely has a lot of um of interesting mechanics that you can pull off if you're a skilled player. My Robin is not the best. I know that. Though I sincerely hope you can learn from what I uh, from the knowledge that I do know about Robin that I cannot execute at least. For good Robin gameplay, I will recommend watching Nairo. Nairo is a very skilled uh, Robin player that I, I played against, so definitely check him out. Then again, guys, thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. I'll be uploading all of this. So, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch, man, thank you.